Hey, welcome back to the show. We'd like to introduce you to different athletes, some young and uh, some that you have heard of, some you've maybe never heard of, but you're going to hear of as they are heading to the Youth Olympic Games. And Max Raymer is in studio with us right now. This is all part of our Youth Winter Sports Alliance Sports Report to introduce you to these athletes. How are you doing, Max? I'm doing good. How are you? Good, and I just put it together as Max was sitting here. He goes to Park City High School, and I said, oh, no, you do wake up super early on your week off for Christmas break. And he's like, ah, it's not a big deal. <laughs> so props to you for being here and thanks for being here so early. How you, how you doing? You doing okay? Yeah, I'm doing good. He's like, yeah, okay, it's a little early. <laughs> yeah. So Max, let's talk about yourself. You're actually one of eight people from Utah who are going to be heading to the Youth Olympic Games. But let's first things first, tell our viewers in case they they don't know, have a clue about what these games are. Um, they're pretty exciting that they're starting this whole thing for the youth to get to. Mm -hmm. Well, it's in Innsbruck next month next month and it'll be just a cool experience it's like basically the real olympics just a younger version there's a whole opening ceremonies closing ceremonies and they have basically every event and every discipline in the same olympics curling ice hockey team and That's now cool. snowboarding slope style what do you think it's going to be like for a 16 year old who you've done various competitions and you had to actually, you know, uh, do so, quite a few last year. How many did you have to do to place to get to the Youth, Win youth Olympic Games? Uh, there was two events to qualify and the first one was in Copper Mountain, Colorado. Okay. And then the second one was in Mammoth Mountain and I did well in both and got the spot. You look like you can get some air on your snowboard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look at that. These are some pretty sweet shots. Where is this at? Do you know? Uh, that's at Park City. Okay. And most of these all photos are from Park City just because that's where I like to train and that's where I live. Sweet. Isn't it cool though that you've got so many resorts in your backyard that you can go enjoy and train for your snowboarding? Mm hmm It's really nice. It just kind of works out and it's not like I'm 30 minutes away from the mountain. I'm right. Right here. Right. You've grown up in Park City your whole life? Yes. So been here your whole life, and when did you start snowboarding? Um, I started snowboarding around six years old, and mm -hmm. then I didn't start competing till I think eight, eight or eight years old, and mm -hmm. then it kind of just took off from there. That's pretty cool. So, what's your feeling as you're going into I mean, this? is This is exciting. You're 16 years old. You're going to Innsbruck, and you get to compete up against all the best you know, from all these various countries. What is it, what do you feel like so far? You're a couple weeks out, right? Yeah. I mean, it's a little nerve wracking, mm -hmm. but I'm excited. You just wanted to get here? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> I'm excited. I got, I mean, I got like the whole Youth Olympic kit and everything will be cool. That's pretty cool. I know. So things are only going to go up from here, I imagine. So once you do the Youth Olympic Games, what, uh, you know, do you look forward to the Olympics after that? Maybe, I guess we'll see how it goes. I mm -hmm. just want to, you know, get through each season and see how everything goes. And yeah, that's definitely a good goal. For well, the you future. look excited. You've got a smile on your face. <laughs> I am. Um, so since you're up this early, you're going to try and go get first tracks up at PCMR? Yeah. That's yeah. My, that's my goal. <laughs> I think you'll make it, <laughs> considering you have, what, an hour and a half to get there? Yeah. <laughs> I think you'll be just fine and you'll be able to jump on that chair. So, um, Youth Olympic Games, you can go to that website actually. Dr. Michael, if you want to pop it up, I'm not sure if I know it exactly. Um, but that can give you a whole rundown for, you know, the things that Max is going to be competing in along with so many other events that are going to be there for the youth around the world. It's going to be pretty exciting to uh, see this going on in Innsbruck. And uh, you can also always go to Park City Snowboard Team website if you want to get your kids involved and that you want them to uh, end up being like Max in the future, like Max said. He started competing when he was about eight years old. Yep. Which, so gosh, that was what, eight years ago, and uh -huh. now you're off to the Youth Olympic Games. <laughs> it's pretty exciting. <laughs> I guess so. Well, we wish you the best of luck. Thank so you so much. You'll do great, and we're excited to uh, see some of the videos that come out of it. So you'll have to come back on the show I will. when you come back. <laughs> okay. He's like, all right, another early morning. We'll make sure you can miss school or something that day. Okay. Does that work? Good. Yeah, it works. <laughs> okay. All right. Stay with us. We're going to take a short break here on the Mountain Morning Show. We'll be right back.